Clap was a 2015 miniseries on American TV that told the story of a family falling apart after one character lost his temper and slapped a child. While the child, who was misbehaving and kicked the adult, needed to be disciplined, slapping any kid in the face, your own or someone else's, is recognized as unacceptable. Even our open-minded, anything-goes culture has some moral sensibilities. Because it wasn't his son, the parents brought charges and had him arrested. The rest of the plot was typical soap opera stuff and nonsense that exposed everyone's dirty little secrets and tore apart their false world. Everyone's hidden corruption was brought to light because of the slap. The slap should remind us of the story of Saul after Samuel confronted him for sin and rebellion against God in 1 Samuel 15. Even after being charged with rebellion against God, Saul knew he needed the appearance of fellowship with Yahweh and begged Samuel to at least lead in worship in front of Israel. In other words, he wanted Samuel to join him in the facade to put on a show and perpetuate Saul's false world. He even claimed to repent and ask God for forgiveness. I have sinned. I have indeed transgressed the command of the Lord and your words because I feared the people and listened to their voice. Now, therefore, please pardon my sin and return with me that I may worship the Lord. 1 Samuel 15, verses 24 and 25. Notice how even the repentance, though, repeated the excuse. But the depth of his corruption was revealed by his version of the slap. Samuel refused to participate in the phony worship and reminded Saul that God had rejected him as king of Israel. When he turned to leave, Saul grabbed his robe and tore it. Samuel responded by telling Saul that God had torn the kingdom from Saul that very day. 1 Samuel 15 verses 26 through 28. What does that tell us about the power of sin and rebellion against God? Once it gets in our heart, it is extremely difficult to root out. In the fictional world of the slap, the whole group of adults was engaged in despicable acts that were hidden from others. But the slap was out in the open and exposed an evil heart and ended up exposing everyone's sin. Saul claimed to repent, but the lie was exposed by his use of force against Samuel. Saul was determined to do it his way, not God's way, and reacted in violence to Samuel's refusal to go along with him. His core of corruption was exposed when he was called out for his refusal to obey God. This was a direct threat of violence against God's servant. You will do what I say, was Saul's clear message. What about us? Do we react angrily when someone questions our religious beliefs and practices? Oh, we may not reach out and tear their robes, but if we tear into them verbally, to their face, or behind their back, that's when our core of corruption is exposed. That's when we show the world our disobedience to God isn't an innocent mistake. It comes from a corrupt soul. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot hide what's in our heart from God. And eventually, it will come out in public with a slap. Well, thanks for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.